Hey guys, Nathan here, and I'm 11 months on testosterone. So I've got a pretty basic story. You've heard it a million times before. Um, I was a bit of a tomboy growing up, so I liked all the boys' clothes and boy things and hang out with the boys and all that stuff. When I was younger, like specifically like a smaller kid, I would have like Spider-Man pajamas or like Buzz Lightyear or all that stuff. And then over time I was allowed to wear boys clothes out in public more often. And it didn't stop when I was a kid. Um, going into high school I would pretty much do the same thing. T-shirts, I'd wear button-ups if I was going out anywhere nice, never wear makeup. Hair always up in a ponytail or under a snapback. That's just how I did it throughout like all of high school. At this point I was seen as a bit of a butch lesbian to anyone who saw me or basically anyone who knew me because I also liked girls so <laughs> that was the label that I had at the time. So then puberty started to happen and that's when things kind of got a bit worse. I really hated what was going on with my hips and my chest and a bit of an eating disorder and some depression kind of spawned from that because I thought that by not eating as much and skipping meals that it would take away some of the weight from my hips and my chest and stop it from getting worse than it was. At this point in time as well I didn't really know where I was going with my life and I couldn't really see myself in the future as being female. If I tried to think about my future I was like I can't see it because I was trying to imagine me being female in the future and that didn't work. Going into year 11 I started to watch YouTube a heck of a lot. I was basically religiously watching it and I used to watch this YouTube channel called the Gay Women Channel? Gay Women's Channel? Something like that and they had a video where they were talking to some members of the cast of Camilla, which is a web show. It's still on YouTube so you can watch it. So I was watching through that because I was like, ooh, let's watch some gay shit. Um, and then I found there was a character on there called um, La Fontaine and they came out as non-binary through the show and I thought that was really interesting. I was like, hmm, you can do that and like I'd seen like trans people before then but I didn't really make any connection so I got I was a bit curious at this point and I started to look into some trans YouTubers so um, people like Ty Turner, Aiden Dowling, and Jamie Rain. When I was watching them I started to put things together and I was like, oh my god, that's really similar to me and it was getting really, like just eerily similar and I was like, oh shit. So I was kind of just researching constantly and then it took some time to figure things out and put things together. It wasn't like an oh shit, that's it kind of moment. I still had to think it through quite a lot and put all of the pieces together to figure out what was going on exactly. I hear a lot of people who hear the word transgender and they're just like, oh my god, that's me. Well, it's like, I was kind of like that, but kind of not really at the same time. Because it's a lot. Like, I don't want to be trans, I just have to be. There's no choice in it and I had to accept that that's how I had to live my life if I wanted to keep going. So it was more just got pretty scary for me to um, finally figure that out. I was getting more and more uncomfortable with being referred to as female and my old name and all of that. It was just getting so uncomfortable over time. And then I thought, hey, I should start doing things to make myself feel a bit better. So in year 11, I cut my hair short. The initial haircut looked a bit... Ugh. It was a bit of a, I need to speak to the manager haircut. It's not very pretty. And then in year 12, I got a binder, which definitely helped a lot with my chest dysphoria. And that also was the year that I had come out to people. A few years on now I feel a lot more confident and comfortable in my body. This has definitely helped my mental health like so much. I can't even explain how much of an impact transitioning has had on me personally. But doing that initial figuring out of what's going on is tricky. So for you guys trying to figure out if you're trans or not, I know you've probably already heard this, but you are the only one who can figure it out. But you can have some help along the way. A basic way to put how I knew I was trans was it was just a build up of 
like emotions and events that led me to the conclusion that I was trans. One thing I want to say first of all, you don't need to have that stereotypical I was a tomboy as a child growing up kind of thing. Everyone is different and has different lives, different experiences, so it's totally okay that that's not how it is for you. For me, that time growing up as a tomboy was definitely a big indicator though. Gender dysphoria coming up in puberty, that's definitely a big thing. So gender dysphoria just means distress and discomfort with your body or how people perceive you in social situations. So if you have that dysphoria, finding ways to deal with that and alleviate it might help you out and might help you to figure out if you're trans or not. So just experimenting a lot with your hair, clothes, um, you can get other people to use different name, different pronouns. Another big thing, figuring this out takes time. Do not try and figure this out overnight. It took me like a year to be very sure about this. So it takes a lot of time. And then even then there was years of waiting to get anywhere with transition too. Other things you can do is find people that you relate to, whether that be going to groups or you could just go on YouTube like I did. You could talk to a gender therapist and see how that goes talking out your feelings with your gender. And there's also things like the Trevor Project, which they have call lines going and I think you can message them as well. So that's also an option that you could take on. Basically just have conversations, experiment and find support with your friends and family. It is hard to figure out, but you'll get there in the end. So if you liked the video and found it helpful, leave a like, um, comment any suggestions, or tell me how you figured out you were trans, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.